Channel 4 Action News anchor Sally Wiggins sat down with Santorum and his wife Karen on Halloween night to talk about the campaign and how it has affected their lives. Sally joins us now with her exclusive interview. Sally. Mike, we sat in the Penn Hills home that he and his wife bought nine years ago because it's next door to Karen Santorum's parents. Several of his six children were there along with the family German Shepherd. It was where we talked six years ago before he coasted to victory over Democratic Congressman Ron Klink. But this was a very different mood now. This has been ugly, hasn't it? Uh, yeah. It's been, it's been as uh, tough a campaign as uh, I've ever been through, that's for darn sure. You know, the personal stuff, uh, the attacks on the family and the kids and, you know, where we live and what's going on here. It's just, and it, you know, Karen and I said, you know, it makes us feel like, you know, that people treat us like criminals. Their ire stems from the controversy in which the Penn Hill School District filed a complaint with the state, questioning the Santorum's residency and asking to be paid thousands of dollars for the children's cyber schooling. The state eventually paid the district, but the Santorum say it was all about politics. They approved the children's entrance into the cyber school. They never questioned it until we were in an election. Yeah, until we were in a campaign, they, they never questioned it. And what's so sad to me is that our opponent is a man who dodges debates, doesn't answer questions, refuses to really focus on the huge global issues before us right what he seems to like is coming after my children. But as Santorum attacks Bob Casey on his lack of national security credentials, Democrats are now accusing Santorum of what they call a fear and smear campaign. I've run a lot of positive spots telling about what I'm doing and what I want to do. He has not run one single positive ad. And so all of a sudden, I'm the smear? I mean, that's just... In one ad, Santorum talks about his cooperation with Senate Democrats. And a New York Times editorial praises Santorum's leadership in the fight against global poverty and AIDS. It also quotes U2's Bono, with whom Santorum has worked. I read the quote to him. I would suggest that Rick Santorum has a kind of Tourette's disease. He will always <laughs> say the most unpopular thing, but on our issues, he has been a defender of the most vulnerable. Yeah. When you were saying how ugly this has been, is this in part due to your outspokenness on cultural issues, on the cultural wars? Have you alienated a lot of people because you can't keep your mouth shut? Oh, I think I've alienated. Yeah, maybe, maybe, it, maybe that's a good way of putting it. Maybe I can't keep my mouth shut, but I think they're important issues. I mean, I think Rick is a truth teller. He says what needs to be said at the time it needs to be said, and he doesn't. Which is not what politicians what generally do. I think it is important that we respect life. That is important that I think we respect the American family and try to support traditional, uh, the traditional family. And I think it's also important uh, that you have a United States senator who's willing to be honest with you and tell you that. Mm. What you have with Bob Casey Jr. is, is someone who by and large agrees with me on abortion, uh, but he just says, well, it's not, it's not important to me. In other words, so I'm sort of going to be here but not be here. And, you know, he says, well, I'm, I'm for traditional marriage, but, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do any. I'm going to fight against anything that was going to protect marriage. If that's what you want. We have requested an interview with Bob Casey and his wife, and they are considering they have not responded yet.